6 p.m. Assalam, Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines Prime Minister's Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting says presenting a people and pro friendly budget is the top priority of the government. The President has summoned the budget session of the National Assembly at the Parliament House in Islamabad tomorrow. The economic survey for the current financial year will be launched tomorrow. Jammu and Kashmir People's Movement has warned India to refrain from changing the disputed status of Jammu and Kashmir. The G20 finance ministers in a statement after the meeting in Japan have pledged to enhance their efforts to combat money laundering and funding of the terrorist groups. In the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019, India are batting against Australia at London. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister's Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Pradosh Ashikawan, says presenting a people and pro-friendly budget is the top priority of the government. Addressing a news briefing in Islamabad this afternoon, she said the upcoming budget will be the first financial document of the Pakistan Tariq and South government prepared to ensure sustainable economy. She said the budget will present a long-term way forward to set economic goals for the next five years. The special assistant said, despite economic challenges, the government is not ignorant of the country's defense needs. The president, Dr. Arif Alvi, has summoned the session of the National Assembly to meet at the Parliament House in Islamabad tomorrow at four in the afternoon. The federal budget will be presented during the session. The Economic Survey of Pakistan for the current financial year will be launched tomorrow. The survey will provide an overview of the national economy, highlighting the performance and achievements in different sectors during the fiscal year. Its launching marks the opening of the budget-related events, including presentation of the federal budget in the National Assembly on Tuesday. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Overseas Pakistanis and Human Development, Zulfi Bukhari, has said vision and policy of Prime Minister Imran Khan is to strengthen institutions and the national economy. Addressing a function in London today, he said Pakistan Tariq and South government under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan is committed to resolving the problems of the people and meet the challenges being faced by the country. He said the government is focusing on strengthening national institutions for better service delivery to the masses. The chief of the army staff, General Kamar Javid Bajwa, who is in Saudi Arabia, performed Umrah today. The door of Khanai Kaaba was opened for him, where he prayed for peace, stability and prosperity of the country and Muslim Ummah. A group of Turkish tourists visited Kumrat Valley of Upper Deir, they lauded the natural beauty of the area, hospitality of the local people, and arrangements made by the government to facilitate the tourists. Meanwhile, a number of tourists from different areas of the country are visiting Sawat, Deir, Chitral, Mansera, Kagan, and Naran to enjoy the natural beauty and environment of the area. A press release issued by the regional police office, Malakan, said about 145,000 tourist vehicles entered Sawad, 30,000 in Lower and Upper Deer, 11,000 in Chitral, 8,000 in Shangla, and 3,000 in Bunair districts to visit and enjoy the scenic and beautiful places of Malakan Division. The Khabir Pakhtunkhwa Information Minister Shokat Yusuf Zai says no one will be allowed to disturb the law and order situation in the tribal districts of the province. Addressing a function in Peshawar this morning, he said peace has been restored in the tribal areas after great sacrifices of the security forces and the general public. Shaukat Yusuf Zai said the nation is standing shoulder to shoulder with the Pakistan army for the security of the motherland. He said rehabilitation of infrastructure in the tribal districts is the top priority of the government. He said in the upcoming budget, Sehat Sahulat program will be extended to the entire province. 
Counselor services of the Pakistan Embassy in Kabul are continuing smoothly. According to some media reports from Kabul, Pakistan Embassy officials are in close contact with the Afghan authorities following reports that some Afghan visa applicants created law and order situation by blocking roads leading to the embassy. It is worth mentioning that there was no incident involving the Pakistan Embassy as claimed in some of these reports. This is Radio Pakistan. Jammu and Kashmir People's Movement has warned India against changing the disputed status of Jammu and Kashmir by striking down all the constitutional provisions granting special status to the territory. The All Party Suryat Conference leader and Jammu and Kashmir People's Movement Chairman Mir Shahid Saleem in a statement in Jammu said the people of Kashmir who have been fighting for their inalienable right to self-determination for the past seven decades are ready to fight tooth and nail any move aimed at depriving the Kashmiris of their political rights. He said the Indian government, instead of addressing the Kashmir dispute politically, has been hatching conspiracies during the last 70 years, but would never succeed in its nefarious designs. Mir Shahid Salim said it seems India is going to launch a final onslaught on Kashmir, which would further lead to violence and bloodshed. In occupied Kashmir, the senior APHC leader and the chairman of Tariqe Huriya Jammu in Kashmir, Muhammad Ashraf Sehrai, says delay in the settlement of the Kashmir dispute is wrecking havoc on the lives of innocent people in the occupied territory. In a statement in Srinagar, he criticized the international community for turning a deaf ear towards the brazen human rights violations perpetrated by the Indian forces in occupied Kashmir. He also condemned the arrest of illegally detained resistance leader Musarrat Alam Bhatt by the National Investigation Agency and the booking of Shabir Ahmed Shah in ASEAN in the Rabi in fresh cases. He urged the human rights organizations to play their role in shifting of all the Kashmiri political prisoners back to the Kashmir Valley. Finance ministers and central bank governors from group of 20 economies have pledged to increase their efforts to combat money laundering and funding of terrorist groups through the use of virtual assets and enhanced regulations on cryptocurrency trading. The pledge was expressed in a joint statement in the Japanese city of Fukuoka after a two-day meeting on trade and digital economy. The statement said global growth appears to be stabilizing and is generally projected to pick up moderately later this year and into 2020. The statement said most importantly trade and geopolitical tensions have intensified and we will continue to address these risks and stand ready to take further action. The finance chiefs also agreed to reform global corporate tax rules on internet giants and redouble efforts for a consensus-based solution with a final report by 2020. Palestine has urged the international community to put an end to the incursions by settler groups into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. In a statement, the Undersecretary of Palestinian Waqf and Religious Affairs Ministry Hussam Abu al-Rab said Jerusalem will remain Islamic and occupation will not deprive it of its identity, no matter what it does. The statement said around 330 Jewish settlers broke into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound today under the protection of the Israeli police. Israeli occupied East Jerusalem, Israel occupied East Jerusalem in 1967 war, a move that has never been recognized by the international community. Pope Francis has appealed for peace in Sudan, expressing grave concern following a bloody crackdown by security forces on pro-democracy protesters in Khartoum last week. In his weekly address to crowds in St. Peter's Square, the Pope said rather urged the need to seize the violence and seeking common good through dialogue. Meanwhile, Sudan's main alliance of opposition groups and protesters have called a campaign of civil disobedience to force military rulers to hand over power to the civilians. And now cricket and the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019 match against Australia at London. India were 325 runs for the loss of three wickets in 48 overs a short while ago. Earlier, India won the toss and decided to bat first. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours, while very hot weather has been forecast for eastern Balochistan, Sindh and plain areas of the Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. And that is the end of this news bulletin.
For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also log on to the video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.